Welcome to this look at a phenomenal new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here on Frontier. This is a new mod map out by Zero Oito. 765.05 megabytes download plus required mods. Uh, I won't read them all out, the required mods are in the description and they download automatically anyway. Uh, there's a few from Giants. Uh, then we've got the American Farmhouse by OK Used Mods, Telehandler Pallet Fort by Mac Trucker 921, the Lizard Apache Fleet Side you can see in front of us uh, by Farm Centro Sul, and the Old Time Shed Pack by Zero Oito. This map is going to be a proper Marmite map. Um, I am going to say this now this is possibly one of the most exciting, fun, frustrating, brilliant, genius, clear. I mean, you just name it, this will. This covers everything. Imagine Farming Simulator mixed with Gold Rush mixed with SnowRunner. I mean, honestly, it is absolutely bonkers and absolutely brilliant. Um, the map looks like this. I love the fact that the actual map is like on a phone, which is brilliant. On New Farm, we start with the farm area, one and four, and field prices vary from tiny fields down here along the side here 44 grand 37 grand mid-sized fields and a larger plot there 859 we've got forestry around the outside forestry across the middle here then outside the curtain wall <laughs> you heard me outside the curtain wall we've got all these desert areas that can be bought can be plowed can be farmed um, they're a little bit more expensive because they're slightly larger plots We'll get onto all that later on. Um, as far as mods go, by the uh, map maker, if we go down, actually want that one. If we go down to mods and DLCs, uh, we've got the ones that are the required mods here, but under Frontier, we've got K721G, we've got the Lizard MKS8, and if you look at the things that, that will take, <laughs> we've got diesel, gasoline, um, there's um, petroleum, We've got two things for, for um, fertilizer and two things for liquid herb, liquid fertilizer and herbicide. That's because we've got pallets, we've got this, maintenance tools, drilling equipment, mining equipment, vehicle parts, gas, motor oil, cement, and these two. Concentrated herbicide and concentrated liquid fertilizer, which is what the extra things are for on these tankers. And it does say in the description that they will... They will give you higher yield if you use those. They're concentrated. I don't know how that works, but apparently they do. If we come out of there and we go into build mode. Under build mode, we have got added in by the map maker on top of the required mods. We've got a bay on pallet storage there by Frontier Mods. We have got under containers, we've got a dilution tank. So what you can do is you can put the stuff into there with water and it can dilute it down. I, I, <laughs> the fertilizer and the herbicide and we've got a water tank um under uh, farmhouses where are we farmhouses we've got farmhouse and we've got some tents which are in various locations around the map uh under production and factories we've only got one out in the end everything else on here that has been customized and this map is custom 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 all the way through is um they're fixed in place you can't do anything about them so you you won't be able to add more in but we've got a biogas plant uh, which is modded under factories and then under greenhouses we've got this set of greenhouses which do uh watermelon carrots um and what was the thing as well they do is it lettuce we do already we'll see when we get there because we've got one on the farm uh, so there are three of those then we've got under animals we've got a horse pen out of all the animals it's just a horse pen that's different all the others are stock uh decoration we have got under fences an absolute load of fences so after the hedges which is where it normally ends there we've got all of this then under there was nothing under lights or others i don't think and then it was under landscaping We've got a few extra painting textures. There are a few in here, as you can see. Uh, trees. We have some palm trees out in the end. And then under plants, we've got a couple there. A couple of meadow ones. So that's all of that. 
I'm just going to open the side gate here. We start at the main vehicle store. We start with our Fleetwood here, which I'm going to just do a little bit of adjustment to, because you'll, <laughs> you'll see in a moment. Contracts are available on this map. We've got so much to get through. This is insane. I was considering doing this in two parts. The main vehicle store, if we go in through the doors here, each of these vehicles say owned by you. I can get in it. I can start it up. But you can't remove them from here. There's no way of getting them out of this building. You can't reset them. They're just in here. They're not on lease. They're not you know, causing an issue at all. Now, I have to be careful because in different locations around this map, there is music playing. And obviously, with copyright rules for YouTube, I have to be careful. So, vehicle store menu is there. And our workshop trigger is just inside the door there. There is a wheel loader in there, which we can use. We can take out and about. Um, that's available. That's here at the store. Um, but here's the thing. If we come back outside, this is the reset point for the map as well. Um, I can't open this door because it says, and it does this all the time on lots of maps, opening hours 7am to 8pm. The same with the main gate. Well, it's showing as 8.09 at the moment, and they're not open. 9 o'clock, those will open. So what I'm going to do is go down and speed up time. When it gets to 9, that will open, as will the main gate. Bingo. Which gives us access to the workshop trigger just inside here. I've got to be careful. I'm going to talk loudly just in case anyone can hear the music because I don't want to get copyright strike because it does happen. But this can then be taken anywhere around the map you want. The sound effects around the map are staggering. The vehicles going around the map add to the immersion. There are police cars. There are tanker trucks. There are just lorries on their own. There's, I mean, there's so... It, I Honestly, I can't... This is another one of those mind-blown, absolutely bonkers maps. Um, you can see pallets, um, a, a lot of the locations, production chains do require pallets, I know for some people that's an immediate, I'm not interested in having to do that. Um, and there's also, I mean some of the extra stuff thrown in here is incredible. Now, this map reminds me very much, I don't know if anyone's seen the series, there's a sci-fi type series called Colony. Um, and it's a post-apocalyptic type thing where everyone lives behind these massive curtain-walled cities in the US. And going outside them, you have to get special permission and, you know, what kind of thing. That's this. I mean, when I got... You'll see when we get to the curtain wall, if you've seen any kind of post-apocalyptic walled city type, it's that. Judge Dredd, this, that kind of thing, honestly. It is... Uh, this map is a game changer. And, and I mean that in that it will change the way you play the game if you allow it to. If you don't want to do any of the extra things that are in here, you don't have to. We've got a cell point around the back here, Case IH. So if it comes up with Case IH, so that's cell point just there. I'm going to change over my Fleetwood and, um, like I say, we, we have got a zoom round. I've never made so many notes on a map tour in my entire life. See you in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to walk and talk for the rest. As you can see, I've raised this up. This will become obvious and apparent why momentarily. If we whiz around the corner here. First two cell points we're going to come to are here, which are construction. There's construction and construction site. Any of the sale points, I always say this when we do map tours, is um, have a look in the prices menu. If you're not sure what can be sold where, look at the item, then look to the right and it will tell you the prices. As we go around this map, and this is another reason why people may love it or hate it, we've got all this all over the floor. Now this is dirt. Dirt is an extra component to this map, and as you can see it's piled up all over here. When you buy certain plots of land, or any plots of land, a lot of the roadways have got dirt inside the curtain wall which is required for certain productions to be done um, and this can be scooped up once you own the land you can scoop this up you can push it to one side you can do whatever you want to make driving easier or you can collect it and it can be delivered and it can be used as a component part for things two delivery points here for construction one under this building one under this building and again the, the sound effects the animations on this map are unbelievable uh, now this dirt texture, that's why I put the off-road and raised this up a little bit, can bog you down a little bit. And that's why I said it's a little bit like snow running, because there's certain parts of the map, as you drive around, depending on what you're driving, it, it, it will slow you down. It will bog you down. And I think that could become frustrating for people. But like I said, once you buy the land, you can then adjust it. Now if you don't want to do any of the additional stuff on here, you don't have to. I'm going to go back to the map again. 
because all this area here we've got farming and forestry and if you want to you can go outside the curtain wall you can buy the, the fields you can plow them and you can set it up and you can just you can just run it as normal you don't have to use any of the new productions or any of the productions on here oh this section over here I meant to say as well uh, we've got around the map there are various different posts once you buy a plot of land where it says remove objects on farmland if you cut that post down all the rubble and stuff here will go there's certain plots where there are derelict buildings there's rubble there's various different things now it does say on the instructions that you can do the same for the great wall i'll get to that later on because i found the post but you can't cut it down because it's on a plot of land that you can't buy so i'm not sure about that one so we've got to get around these uh, really quickly um, I'm going to have to put some money in when we get to the main farm only because um, we need to buy some of these productions to be able to show you Clever Motors has got a sell point around behind it just there so if you're looking for the Clever Motors sell point it's around the back next door to that there's a lot of sell points to start off with but we have got some production chains mixed in here and some of the productions on this map are unreal I mean just absolutely needing those um, those big palleted the maintenance tools there's you can make engine oil you can make engine parts you can on, <laughs> uh, there are collectibles there are 15 on this map to collect they are hard to find this is the grain elevator cell point if I've got that the right way around yes this is grain elevator cell point as we come around the back here this is construction site so the first one was construction this one here is construction site cell point I'm going to cut across here just for time <laughs> I mean it was I, I, I honestly thought I'm going to do this in two parts I, there is so much to see uh, from here we come up to the top this is City Warehouse, this is a sell point as well. A lot of these plots you can't buy, so you can't add anything to them, but you don't need to. You've got lorries, you've got engines running, you've got sound effects, you've got vehicles and machinery moving, you've got tower cranes moving, you've got... <laughs> That's so cool. oh. Here we go, actually I'm coming over against the flow of the traffic, apologies for that. There's some really nice nods to, to other maps as well. I'm just going to pull in and stop here. Because here, if you open the gate in the back here, we've got just past, this one here is uh, Vintage Visuals. So this is the sell point for Vintage vis Visuals clothing. And again, check on the prices menu, you'll see. I mean, I'll, I can show you as, we not know it was the right one. If we go down to prices, go down to anything, Look across the right hand side, you'll find what it, what can be sold there. If we scroll down here, you'll get an idea of some of the extra stuff we've got um, thrown in, which will go to, there we go. So, soybean oil, UHT milk, canned corn, canned olives, yogurt, tomato sauce, ketchup, pallets, carrots, watermelon, cabbage, soy milk, maintenance tools, drilling equipment, mining equipment we've seen, petroleum, gasoline, metal tubes, m metal to melt, metal beams, vehicle parts gas, motor oil, wooden beams, long planks, um, precision farming, I've just read, not precision farming, platinum expansion, I've just realised I didn't put it on, um, I'm going to come back up with that on, cement, concrete blocks, recyclable trash, chocolate cake, uh, the concentrated, we've got iron ore, dirt, sand, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> this building here, this is the cakery, not the bakery, this is the cakery, Stanley Cakery. If we buy this for 30 grand and click on there, this will make cake and chocolate cake. But if we look at the production chains as we go around this map, what I love about this, this, this little detail added in, which adds to a massive amount of immersion, I personally think, which I know people are going to hate, but if you look at the products coming out, you've got your cake and your chocolate cake, but you've also got recyclable trash because every facility is going to be producing rubbish. It's, it's going to be coming out. That can be collected and there's a recycling centre that you take the trash to. I know. So bear with me, I'm going to hop out, I'm going to come back in again and I'm going to make sure I've got the Platinum DLC um, enabled because I'm going to need that as we move forward. Continuing on.
we're back in and I've taken the liberty of putting some money in because we're going to need it. Across the road, uh, this way, we've got the fast food restaurant and the sell point for it is just there. That's around the other side but the sell point's there so you get in from the other side. I love little things like this, look. Better call Paul. <laughs> Very cool. Like that. Around the back of this building we've got the grocery mart. I'm not going to go all the, way, all the way around the back of the building but if we go to the map we're here, around the back of the building, it's there. Again, it's going to take a bit of time to get to it. And, and we honestly, we don't have time. Uh, it's things like all the customization, the graffiti on the walls everywhere. There's there's so much, like I said, I keep saying custom bespoke. It's just mind boggling. We come around the corner here, we've got Hypercube Pizza, and the sell point for Hypercube Pizza is around the back of the building. In here, just there, which we can get to from the other side if we open the gates there. If we come across the road, we've got a central hotel, hence central hotel. The front of the building's around there, but the cell points around the back of there, the central hotel. Uh, where have we got? Can I miss anything? See, music, I've got to be careful. We've got, um, I think, straight down. Actually, what I could show you, I oh, know we'll get to the curtain wall later on. Sorry. We've got the restaurant sell point. Was that around the back of that building? I'm sure it was around the back of that building. Yes, it was. So, around the back of that building, sell point there. Keep talking, keep talking. Oh, music. We've got the Denton Bakery. So, we've got the Cakery. This is the Denton Bakery. Which, if we purchase, it should be the same thing. Requires pallets and. Um, oh, is it around the side here? Was that just a sell point for Denton? Okay, it was. Oh, yeah, the bakery's further over this way. If we come around here, we've got the tailors just here, and across the road, we've got the bakery just here. Which, if we purchase that for 50 grand, bread and cake. But it does require pallets, and you do get the... Um, oh, and gas as well. I meant to say, yeah, some of them require gas as well to run their processes, and we get the recyclable trash out of them as well. So you might have to buy gas. I'm trying to think if there's a production on here that produces gas. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if there is. Right, from here, we're going to head to the main farm. We're going to talk about slot counts. Buckle yourself in, people. As you can imagine, the sort of map with the sort of detail... Um, <laughs> It's up there. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie, it is up there. But this is one of those maps that, because people keep saying to me on console, when are we getting a mining map? Where's the mining map? How do we do mining? I mean, it's not mining per se, I don't think like the PC modded versions are. But this was one of those maps that people always said, you'll never get it on console. You'll never get a map like this on console. And we have. The problem is, for the old gen consoles, because the slot count is high, you're up near the limit. And I'm not lying when I say that. Slot count, get ready. New farmer, 2,326. On farm manager and start from scratch, that comes down to 2,008. Difference being, you don't have any of the vehicles or machinery on farm manager or start from scratch. And at the main farm here, if I go into the corner here, on farm manager and start from scratch, you don't have this building, um, and you still have the silo, still have the farmhouse, you don't have the greenhouse, it will look like this. So as you can see, we've got a lime pile on the floor. We've got various bits of equipment scattered around the place. If I open up the buildings. Front load of gear, that's one of the tanks I think that holds all the, the new extra stuff. We do start with wheat in the trailer. So we've got wheat in the trailer, which can be unloaded directly into the augers, which we start off with. We've got a 3609 bin which is a 1.1 million litre bin. We've got a farmhouse which we can go into with our triggers. It's a lovely little house as well. Sleep trigger just there. Wardrobe trigger in the cupboard. If we come into the main area, we've got another bedroom there. Bathroom area. Lounge area with the kitchenette. Is that what it's called? Kitchenette's not that, isn't it? Um, and then we've got more equipment and machinery here. We have two small fields, the plot next door. And more of our equipment here and the stuff that's um, required mods I think because that takes the concentrated um, materials 
liquid fertiliser and herbicide. Our harvester and our two small fields, that's all we start with, just here. And the crop's been taken off those, that's why the harvester is waiting to come in because the wheat's in there and there's some in the silo as well. Greenhouse, we've got a small one, which is good to go. It does have some um, water seed, solid fertiliser, if we look there, water seed, solid fertiliser from pallet. Now on farm, um, new farmer, you have the greenhouse here under production chains. But when you come in, on, into here on um, farm manager will start from scratch because you don't have any of those buildings, you don't have that production chain available to you. So that's the main farm area. Going as fast as I can. <laughs> so, carrying on. We've got Grayson Gas Station Cell Point, which is to the side. I love the fact there's fuel being pumped, so that's the gas station cell point. We've got a refuel point, which is just here. Oh yeah, that's our thing. Surveillance bird, and I'm not kidding. That's a surveillance helicopter. Radar dish on the top, that's going around. <laughs> Keep an eye on the population, making sure no unauthorised person leaves outside the curtain wall. We've got the Frontier Police Department, and this is what I was going to say about if we come into here, there's one of these posts, and I'm wondering whether it's to do with the curtain wall. I love all this, look. More tractors, less weapons. I love that. That's so cool. There's a post here, but you can get yourself a, a chainsaw, but this plot of land that we're on, you can't purchase. So we've come all the way down here. We're at this plot here. You can't buy this plot of land. So you can't cut it down. So I'm wondering if that was for the curtain wall, but I don't know if that might get an update. Uh, plots of land along here. There's there's one of those posts a little bit further along here that moves all these houses, so you can use that plot. Um, there's a few scattered around. We might see more as we go around. But I love the fact there are police cars that are patrolling. Um, <laughs> just honestly. <laughs> so we'll cross the road to Carpentry. We'll buy that. Furniture wood, furniture planks, furniture long planks. So from the sawmill you can get various different things. We're going to come back to some of these in a moment. Uh, next door to that is the recycling centre. So if you're getting all the trash and refuse from the various different productions, this is where you bring it to, to the recycling centre, as you can tell by all the rubbish bags trash bags next door to that we've got the farmers market i've got to be careful actually i'm not going to go around the back of there but the farmers market sale points are behind that there's music playing behind there um and it's quite loud all the way around and i'd have to yeah. oh no no i love it i love the fact it's there it adds a little bit to it but no stop <laughs> we've got a pallet and bale storage 250 just here behind the dairy uh, the dairy purchase point for the building is around the front, which we're going to need to do because we buy that. Butter, cheese, chocolate, UHT milk. Again, requires pallets and it does give you recyclable trash. Coming out the other side. From here up onto the right, oh no, I've got to go past the police car, I didn't want to, look, I just, I love all the different stuff driving around, that's, go on, go, please, 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 just go, come on, I haven't got time for this nonsense, now uh, we've got Woodland to our side here, to the south, that's River Rock Estate, that is a cell point, but again, the immersion, you see all the, the dirt everywhere, a lot of those off track, and we've got some here as well, But the cell point is just here. But we've got livestock just wandering wild. There's so many bits on various different cell points here that have got vehicles and machinery and equipment in sort of states of operation. Um, now I'm not sure if we can buy this plot of land actually. I'll double check that because this is another one that if you can't. Yeah, so you've got all that dirt all over it. But if you don't own the land, I'm not sure you can pick it all up. So I'm assuming it's just added it in there for a bit of extra texture or... or Again, that almost sort of snow runner feel. We do have a train line, as you can see. I didn't mention the train line, did I? How very remiss of me. The train line runs to railway to north. That's the cell point. 
it starts inside and it goes outside the curtain wall and takes you out and round to a couple of cell points outside the curtain wall. More fields to our left and you can see the scale of it now. We're going to get back to the main gateway in a little while. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's perfect timing. So you see the train? You've got a lot of these double or triple gateways um, that block off whole sections. And while we're here, actually, what I can do, since the train's gone past already, these gateways can be opened. Now, I did wonder if it was going to be like an airlock that you had to open one and close one before you open the other one. And you can see, if you've got these open, these barriers close to stop anyone getting here, but our first look outside the wall. It's very Judge Dredd-esque, it's incredible. It's, it's even more nuts when you go further down the other end. And we'll close that down, we'll get to later. Outside the wall is sand. Inside is dirt, outside is sand. When you buy the plots of land, there are bits you can go and collect. Um, so you can go and dig up your sand. If you need sand for a production, you can crack on with that. Farm dog, he loves sand. You can tell, squeaking his ball, happy as Larry. A little campsite to the left. There's no cell point there or anything. Uh, we've got a gas station with gas station cell point just there. So gas station and refueling. Next to that, we've got American parcel logistics cell point just there. Next to that, as we turn in here, we've got another bale and pallet storage at 250. And now we've got one of our first, first factories, I guess. As you can see, it requires some things. This here is our concrete block factory for 100,000 if we buy that. We can make concrete blocks, which some of the productions need, some of the construction sites, various different things need. Water, cement, sand, so you're going to need sand, and pallets, concrete blocks in, recyclable trash out. <laughs> the mind boggles. Now, I am going to miss something. There is no way I'm going to get through this map tour and not miss something. Offload point. This is for the fabric factory which is just here. As far as the, some of these sound effects are very loud, as you can hear, we buy that. Manufacture fabric, uh, woolen pallets, cotton pallets, again, recyclable trash as the byproducts coming out. Loud, 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 loud. Back out of here to the corner, I think we've got supermarket. Was it on the outside? I'm just going to... I did wonder whether it would have a barrier for the train on the way out. Supermarket sell point is just here on the corner. What I'm going to do is just stop there a second and whiz out and show you this. Look at that. Honestly, this... this... Oh. <laughs> Mind melting. So supermarket sell point, it's just there. Just past here, if you see the little yellow sign. So this plot of land here, if you purchase it, we have got a sign here that can be cut down and it removes all the buildings and stuff on it. It leaves the trees, so the trees will still have to be removed, but that can be a plot for farming if you want to do that. You could do a whole storyline where you're, you know, I don't know, you bring in a demolition team to clear the land and crack on. On to the next production, which is another mind bender. I love this. I, I think the whole, you know, if, you, if you're one of the um, anti pallet brigade, if you're one of the, the, the pit mob of people that don't like production chains in game, again, you don't have to do them. There's plenty of farming to be done. You don't have to touch any of this stuff. But the fact it's in here, with all these extra productions and things you have to do, and that's why I said as well, because you've got metal, metal beams, and all this sort of stuff, it kind of, and everything's custom. None of this is just plonk down standard stuff. It's all been changed, it's all been graffitied, it's all been altered. Um, so this building here, this is metal and limestone factory. So we buy that, manufacture of metal tubes, metal beams, uh, manufacture metal tubes, metal beams, lime, vehicle parts. <laughs> Requires iron ore, wood beams, metal to melt, we'll get to that later on, and stones and you get those things coming out because some of those are going to be required elsewhere on the map. Now I'm not going to lie, some of the productions as we get a bit further on are quite pricey but it's that thing of building up to a facility that does 
I don't know, absolutely tons of stuff. Now I've got to remember the route here. I'm going to cut across the ground because it does slow you down a little bit going across the um, the dirt everywhere. Apologies for cutting across the crop. I know it, it shouldn't, but. was up here and I'm going to cut around the back only because again it's a little bit of a shorter route I think as long as I haven't fluffed it which again I mean yeah <laughs> right this plot here if we go to the map I haven't done the map thing so we came all the way through all of this we've done all this already come across here We'll get back to that in a moment, or what's in a moment, in a little while. We've come right the way across and done all of these here. We've come up there to that facility. We're now round up the back here. This little plot here, so this little plot, that one there. If we buy that plot of land and do that, we get that come up. As you can see, the tent just there. There's a few plots of land that do have a tent on for um, a home. So if you wanted to change the way you're doing things and you start out in the middle of nowhere and basically you're just a, you're, you're a dirt farmer. You're, but you're, you've got a plot of land with a load of dirt that you can take and sell and make a bit of money. But you're going to need something to obviously move that dirt with but you can if you want to craziness i know so i think there's music playing here as well so i've got to be careful yes there is speed through keep talking this silly bitch <laughs> so we have got the um animal dealer cell point which is just up here i'm just checking on my notes now because i've got so far through yes animal dealer cell point which is just there we got a livestock market which is just there, so for buying our animals. And then around the back here, this is a purchase point for liquid fertilizer and manure. So liquid manure and manure, this is a purchase point, so you can buy it from here. But again, I don't think we can buy this plot of land. So having the dirt, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure about that. All the plots of land you can't buy that have got dirt on. Oh yeah, I mean, like I say, I'm, I'm just making the assumption that that's why it's been done. To add this, whoa, blimey. And like I say, this is why this is a Marmite map. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Because I think, to start off with, it's like, this is really cool, this is a cracking idea, but I think some of this stuff here, after a while, you might get frustrated with, or you might just absolutely love it. You might not care. You just think, you know what, we'll crack on. Miller's Sawmill, we are going to purchase it because this does some of the platinum stuff as well, and also some of the stuff that's required elsewhere. So it runs as a regular sawmill, I guess, um, with your wood chip coming out at the other end. Again, quite loud, if you purchase that, manufacture planks, wooden beams, and the planks long. Oh, that's interesting. Wood beams, it hasn't got the, um, maybe it's just some of them, because it hasn't got prefab walls or anything like that, although I've got platinum on. So it's obviously just taken some of them that can be utilised elsewhere. So that's Miller's Sawmill. The next one we're coming to, I think one of the triggers is off on the map, I think. I mean, it's now... I didn't realise how loud that was actually when I was whizzing around. I was prepping, I, I was hoping to get this done last night. I'm not going to lie, the prep for this has taken me hours. Because going around and double checking everything and seeing what things sold and what went where and uh, trying as best as I can not to miss anything. Um, have I mentioned the collectibles yet? I can't if I have, because um, that will become a bit more relevant in a little while. But um, collectibles, there are 15. And you have to find them because you've got piles of dirt you've got sand you've got rock you've got iron ore um, it does say that a lot of them are buried and you have to dig them out when you get near one you get an audible beeping sound and the closer you get the louder it gets like a like a parking sensor type thing and you have to dig them out i dug one out is it worth doing you betcha it is <laughs> Five hundred thousand for one but you've really got to work for it. You need to find them. So as we come through here, we've got a sell point and we've got a buy point. A buy point this what side for seed, fertilizer and lime. I'm sure it was seed, fertilizer and lime, yes. And this is the local co-op sell point. Now if we go to the map, I'll show you what I mean. So we've come from there, we did the livestock market, did the sawmill, we've driven out to here. So it's showing us here. That's what it's saying, local cooperative, but the trigger is actually here, right next to the seed fertilizer and yard lime. So I'm just wondering, yeah. So if it's showing out there and you've got to deliver, it's actually, this is the point here for delivering to the local cooperative. From here. I'm terrified now that I'm gonna run out of time. 
Um, so what I might have to do, some of these bits where I'm gabbling between, I might edit out. And I can just show you on the map where we are now. Heading out, we come to... And, and all this stuff out here, which is the kind of... The bits you go, oh yeah, yeah, this is here. This, I mean, the level of detail, the scenery, how picturesque it all is anyway. And what's been put in, again, is just... Oh, man, it's brilliant. So we come into the mine. So as far as mining goes, we've got the mine cell point, which is just over there. We've got the mine itself down in the bottom, in here. And as you can see, we've got the red stuff there. That's iron ore. That's all over the place. And then we've got stone in the bottom. If I come up to the top here, we can buy the mine facility itself. <laughs> we buy that and do that. We can extract iron ore, but to extract iron ore, you need maintenance tools, mining equipment, motor oil, vehicle parts, and diesel. Deliver those things, and they are things that will gradually work their way down. You are outgoing products of iron ore and stones, but you need to produce them. If we come down here, I'll hop the fence. Um, so this plot of land as well, <laughs> if we buy the plot of land, which will set you back 275 grand, that gives you access to... The iron ore and stone that's here. So if you don't want to buy the facility, you could buy the plot of land. It's cheaper to buy the facility, to be fair. But then you've got to provide all those different things. So it depends which way you round you want to do it. The other reason being, if we come over here, I will show you something. Hear that? That's the audible warning that there's a collectible. But... You got to dig it out <laughs> under here and this gets loud as well we've got drilling once you've bought the facility and you've provided all those things this is the mine that you can get your iron ore and stone from i'm smiling like a small child it's the level of detail. I'm going to keep saying it. Game changer. Now, for different reasons, I said to Mrs. Silly P when I was doing my prep for this, I said, Bally Spring for me is up there as one of the, because of the animals and stuff and what it represents and what it can do, it's, I think it's one of the best maps out there at the moment for, for gameplay. Um, I know everyone will argue that Oxy's maps, you know, they're, they're, much more lifelike and realistic and I absolutely 100% it's a bold statement to make this is now up there as well as one of the best maps in game I, I think yes it's high on the slot count um, yes it's high on the, on the um, megabyte download yes it's got required mods but but the combination of all the things it brings like I said it's potentially it's the three games in one it's it's crazy what it's done I'm trying to work out how I can get to where I'm going next as quickly as possible yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cut some chunks out of this you can see what I mean about the snow runner thing you can get really bogged down once you've bought the land you can clear all this but I know people will be very much but I don't want to this is all forestry so if you want if you love your forestry <laughs> there's no shortage of that either and this is a this is kind of also this is multiple maps in one You've got, for all intents and purposes, enough forestry on here for this just to be a forestry map. You've got enough production chains and stuff on here to say, well, okay, this is production chains, but look at how beautiful this all is, with the bridges and the scenery around it. That plot of land just opposite there can be purchased, and in that derelict building, there's also a tent in there. This is the grain mill. Just here, we buy the grain mill. Wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, sorghum flour, corn flour, soybean flour. Again, requires pallets, but no gas. Outgoing products, flour, which is kind of hope for a grain mill. But again, all the bits of equipment, the machinery. And I love the fact you've got the tractor plowing up the field, and it it, it just feels like you know there's 
the immersion of it. I've just realised. Oh no, that might be. I might have missed one of the. There was a crane operating. I think I might have missed it in the town. Because I thought, oh, that's cool to see. Um, it's just a tower crane moving some some crates and cargo. At uh, this point here is Ravenwood Farm. We've got milk sale just here, and we've got Ravenwood Farm sell point for bales and stuff like that just here. Again, you've got some animals, you've got some livestock, the gate's open. Again, I don't think we can buy this plot of land, so the dirt on the ground. So we come from there, round past the grain mill, we're now here. Yeah, we can't buy that. Hmm. A curiosity. I'm just trying to think now, where do I want to go from here? Okay, this is a tricky one, uh, because the next few points are separated by rivers and things. Um, I'm going to cut right across. Apologies. But again, look how beautiful this is. And that juxtaposition from the crowded, busy, loud city to this bit here being just lovely picturesque valley with a river running through it, farmland and fields and trees around it. Oh, do you hear that beep? Oh, there's a collectible somewhere. Um, and then to the north, this open, dry, apocalyptic desert. It just... <laughs> oh, dearie me. So... Sorry. This on any other map, you'd be like, whoa, how cool. So anyway, cross here to Mossy Pine. Now this plot can be purchased as a farm. This is a horse farm, horse ranch. We have got, once purchased, a sleep trigger just there at the house. We have got a Farmer 400 silo just there. Building storage just there. So we've come across, we came across, don't worry, should have come across there. But this plot here, plot 29, 151 grand, buy the land and do that. Now triggers appear, as you can see, Farmer 400 silo, sleep trigger, and our L shaped horse barn. We have five out of 12, or is it 10? Five out of 12 in here. They don't have any animal feed, but we do have the horse stables. Um, there's no ford across the river here, but there is a bit further up. So again, I'm going to go across the ford and back up across the field. Apologies, I'm going to drive through a field, but I, I need to... Uh, need to crack on. <laughs> I can't... It's almost like I'm, I'm in a... It's like a dream. I, mean, I You know, like I said, I sat there last night and it got to like about half eleven. And I'm thinking, I, I can't... I haven't got time. I need to go to bed. Um, I still haven't finished doing the prep. And I thought, I then need to record it, then edit it, then post it. And I thought, you know, I'm going to have to go to bed and get up and do it. So getting up this morning and coming looking at my notes thinking, whoa, okay. So this farm here. Once purchased. This is plot 18, I think it is. This one here. There we go. 859 grand. So that's the, the big one because you get the big fields and stuff around it. But we do get a sleep trigger. We do get a flat bottom bin, 3609, 1.1 million litres. We've got a workshop trigger. We've got a manure heap and we've got the cow barn. The cows here. What were the cows here? Um. 30? Is it 30? 30 out of 160 would it be just drive around. As you can see, it's got the feed robot here as well on this one. Uh, yeah, 30 out of 160 out in the field already there. Workshop trigger is just inside the garage building there. You can just see the blue disc in there. Silage clamp, flat bottom bin, and the sleep triggers around the front of the building there. Now, what we're going to do is Unfortunately, look away! Very Ghostbusters Afterlife, and various different films that have done it. We go straight across to the biogas plant. I know I would never normally do this when I do map tours, but needs must when the devil's at your doorstep. 
something along those lines. Biogas plant. Now the biogas plant, you can purchase the biogas plant and the land but they're separate. So if I buy the biogas plant, I don't get the land automatically. If I buy the land, I don't get the biogas plant. So you do have to buy them independently. 1.18 million, do that. As far as I can tell, I mean, the recipes seem a little bit higher, but the cycles per month are the same. And it's just, and it, so it's just, it's digestate coming out. So back to the map. So from the farm there, we've whizzed across here. We're now at this point. So having bought the biogas plant, we don't own the land. You can buy the land separately, which does give you that all the way around it as well. So you get field 10 and you get the biogas plant too. Um, and that will set you back 202,000. So you can buy that if you wanted to. And that gives you the ability to then to add placeables on here um, if you wish. And you get the field around it. So if you want to put grass fields around it to do silage or whatever, you can. Heading back up towards the railway. We come to, now this is the grain silo. So we've got putting in and taking out. This is just a storage silo. I'm not sure what the capacity is of this because it doesn't say, but putting in and taking out is done there. This takes the same crop types as a railroad silo does, but it has added in um, iron ore, sand and dirt can be put into this as well for storage. So your regular crop types, railroad silos are normally regular crop types, sugar beet, potato, wood chip, seed, is it sugar cane as well? I'm trying to remember, yeah, but that one will also do iron ore, dirt and um, sand. Which brings us to the food factory, next on our, next on our whistle stop tour. We buy this factory, we click on that. Sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, soybean oil, canned corn, tomato sauce, canned olives, ketchup, soy milk, raisins, and grape juice. Um, they do all require pallets, and then the requisite items, and then obviously, obviously the recyclable trash coming out, and all the products coming out from there. It does say in the description as well that the train will take all palleted items. So if you, if you get the sell point come up, that it's railway north is your sell point, the train will take them. Talking of which... Next up... There we've got the rent train. We've seen the train go past, but we get to that by going in just here. So you can rent the train and stop it and bring it here. So this is your railroad silo, your transfer silo. So this is where you transfer to the train. We do have another pallet and bale storage at 250, just there. And again, this is your, your crop types that a railroad silo will hold, including dirt and sand and iron ore, which you might need to take to other locations on the map. Oh, possibly, I mean, I'm just saying. Across the road, this is, oh, this is where the crane was. Oh, I haven't missed it. This facility is bonkers. <laughs> so, <laughs> trying to find where we are on my, on my details now. Uh, we are at Lizard Imports. Oh yeah, the train, I didn't say. The train goes 74 miles an hour as well. Not your 49 or 50, it goes 74 miles an hour, so it's no slouch around the map. Uh, so this is Lizard Imports. The sell point for Lizard Imports is just here. So if you get something coming up for selling at Lizard Imports, that's where it is. But we can buy this facility. This facility is not cheap. This facility is not cheap because it's a million. And if we go on to here, this is where you get import metal to melt. So that thing where it's metal to melt and that kind of thing. Um, but it requires all those extra things. If we come across here and go up to the top, diesel maintenance tools, vehicle parts, motor oil and pallets and then you've got the outgoing products of metal to melt, recyclable trash, flour. So if you don't want to run any of the other production chains, the point about this being it's an expensive building to buy but if you provide those items you can import your drilling equipment, mining equipment, all these things can be produced here if you provide it with these component parts. 
So you are simulating the fact you're importing things in, which is going to have a higher cost anyway. Um, but you can, yeah, you can supply those and have these. So the metal to melt on certain productions you're going to need anyway. I'm trying to think actually, was um, no, was that one? Was metal to melt? I don't think that's available. If we go into our palettes and scroll across all the various different things that we're showing so pallet i don't think metal to melt's available here no it's, it's something you've got to you can get cement here as well <laughs> as part of the map um yeah it's not so yeah so that's an import facility which yeah if you if you want to i mean some of those and, and that's not even the most expensive one we've got more expensive ones to come um if you decide you know what i want to have those purchased at the start then you can always put money in and you can buy them and have them good to go before you sort of come on and start your storyline or whatever you want to do um so next facility palico all the facilities that say they require pallets but you've already seen you can go into the menu and just buy pallets if you don't want to produce them you don't have to but if we come to this facility which is palico and we purchase this place for 100 grand we can manufacture pallets it's wood in pallets and wood chips out so you can do your forestry bring it to here and you can produce your pallets i think i need to go back out this way and now we head to the main gates we have a pass we can leave the curtain wall out into the wilds the wild north i'm still blown away by all the vehicles i just honestly um so, the main gate. If you have a visa and you're allowed to pass, I mean, you can open any of the gates. I think there are three or four gates as we go around. But in here, we have got uh, Frontier Security. So that sell point there is Frontier Security. So if it gives you anything that needs to be sold, there you go. Frontier Police, in conjunction with the surveillance the surveillance bird that's going past um so yeah that can be that's a sell point if you're required to sell there and then we're out into the craziness and i think on the walls here we've got graffiti here no walls we don't want walls like i say i'm, I'm assuming that post in the police station is is what you need to cut down for that to work so we're outside and it's a desolate wasteland very mad yeah mad max all those all that stuff all those films all the stuff you can think of like that but obviously for the ones like that you can clear all the sand out once you purchase the, the land and do the gates so the train line runs right the way around and through and out up to the, to the top we're going to head to this facility next which is nuts another rent train point just there when you look back at it like <laughs> Uh, dearie me. So these are the oil fields, rich in petroleum from the ground. But this is the facility that's quite important. And also, I think the most expensive one on the map. So this is one you might want to build up to, or you might want to start off with this. This might be, you know, if you're going to go down that Mad Max thing, if you're playing multiplayer, that you own this facility, you know. If people want other stuff, they've got to come to you. Look at it. <laughs> various different drop drop off points for various different things that are required. If we go to here, buckle in. Six million. But we can manufacture. Oh yeah, we can manufacture gas, gasoline, diesel, and oil here. So this is the. Uh, I didn't even. I'm so busy and excited. We come from there, all up there, with all of those, out to there, Palico, Frontier, and then out. So we're now here at this facility, oil refinery. Oh, there, there's a bale and pallet storage, 250. You can see the train heading out now to the north of the map. Yeah, so um, this is the oil refinery. So if any of those products require that, you can have them done here. You can buy the oil, it did say oil, but certain things you can't. And then we come out into the oil fields themselves. Now there are five points, I'm not going to go to all five of them, there are five points where you can buy one of the little um, oil fields. Again, not cheap, <laughs> but it does give you access to the 
petroleum which is needed for doing other productions. The mind boggles. So, these are two million. So for an oil extraction facility, two million, and you can extract petroleum. All you need is drilling equipment, but that's something, again, that over time will gradually dwindle away, so you'll need to bring more drilling equipment. And you can import it, you can buy it, and you'll get your petroleum out of the ground. You're gonna need one of the tankers to, to move that petroleum. But if we go back to the map, you will see that we've got uh, this one here, oil extraction, that one there, that one there, that one there, and this one. Each one of them is two million. There's not a cheaper one, they're all two million. And if we head back out to the road, which I think is this way, there's a little oasis there with a little bit of water. If you buy that plot of land, you get one of the tents appears on there. So if you want to be a nomad, you might want to start in the desert. Although I'm not sure how you're going to afford anything out here, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Look at one of the sand people. Tuscan Raider, if you want. Anyway, heading to the last facility. I'm, I don't even check my time because I'm terrified of what it's going to tell me. We might be alright. We might be alright. Have I done it? Have I got this in all under 60 minutes? Like I said, there's going to be something I've missed. Almost certainly there's going to be something I've missed. But, I mean, the potential for... I love the fact that that heads off to Ravenport. Is Ravenport still there in this version of the world that we live in? So we are now at the Lizard Agro Industrial Cooperative. This massive facility is for this cell point here just in that building and then we have got a rent train point just there so it comes into the facility so you might want to unload here if you've got things you want to sell here again I don't think we can buy this plot no we can't but like I said the oasis that plot 84 610 grand if we buy that and do that and that there you go you get a little tent trigger come up so if you want to live out there in the desert and I'm looking now thinking <laughs> did I get everything I think I did I say, there's all the forestry plots that can be purchased. Oh. We're being surveilled. Is that called a key? Is it a Kiowa? The surveillance one? I, mean, I can't remember. Anyway, not that it really matters. And that's the map. Crazy, insane, brilliant, frustrating, awesome. Everything <laughs> you can imagine that needs to be said. Game changing, yes. Packed, absolutely, just incredible. Um, that's Frontier by Zero Oito. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>